Two Short Don't Sleep Stories, written by me, voiced by me. Cover art, courtesy of the movie, The Uninvited. Story 1, Outside My Window. Something happened to me when I was 12 that gave me PTSD and tons of nightmares ever since. Here's my story as follows. I woke at 3 a.m. to a strange sound outside my window. I sat up in bed as my vision cleared. I saw somebody or something. The presence was tall, slender, and frail looking. Ratty, thin hair dangled from this person's face. Rain pelted the window, preventing me from fully seeing the shadowy figure. It was as if it didn't have a face, or maybe the night hid these features as the figure pressed against the glass. Being a 12-year-old girl, I was still struggling to sleep in the dark. So this froze me stiff in bed, mouth open, eyes wide, glued to the window as the person looked inside my room. I couldn't move, breathe, or scream. I was afraid that if I did, the monster would see me in the corner and break the glass, slither into the room, and eat me alive. You know, pretty much every child's worst nightmare. Trembling, I lay back down, wishing my parents would wake to come in and save me. I was too scared to cry out. Then a flash of lightning lit up the window, revealing a scary-looking woman. She had bulging, bloodshot eyes that were wild with madness. She had boils all over her face and less hair than I had thought. In fact, she looked like a witch. And she was looking right at me. I finally found my voice and screamed. Then she headbutted the window. She began to crawl through, snaking into my room in the darkness. I screamed again as she hovered over my bed. She grinned madly, reaching out for me. Frail, bony, dirty arms and hands grabbed for me. I recoiled and ducked under the covers, hoping this was all just a nightmare. Just then, my dad came in and shot her dead where she stood. We later found out that she was high on meth and other mind-altering drugs and had every intention on kidnapping me to sell me for drug money on the black market. She's now in prison for multiple charges. To this day, even in my 30s, I hate bedroom windows. Never sleep with a window uncovered. You never know who could be looking in at you. Story 2. Suck the life right out of me. Fifty years ago, I was sound asleep when I was attacked, but not by another person. I'm the victim of a shadow figure, an intradimensional malevolent entity that preys upon human energy and vitality ultimately killing you if you're not strong enough to stop its attack or if you can't wake. I began to breathe heavy as it entered my room, floating right through my door. As the cloaked figure stood above my bed, causing me to hyperventilate, my eyes opened wide with fear. It finally straddled me, suffocating me, strangling me, depleted me of oxygen. It strangled my neck and sucked the life out of my mouth. The more I tried to wake, the more I slowly died. Its eyes lit up a hellfire red and a blazing glow of indescribable light emitted from its mouth to my mouth as the last bit of life drained from my body into it. 
My spirit floated from the room as my heart found its last beat. Now I am a shadow figure. What you don't know is that if during sleep paralysis, if the shadow figure that is attacking you succeeds in killing you, you too become a shadow figure in the afterlife, bound to prey on innocent humans as they sleep. And you shall be a slave to the shadow figure who stole your life. I'm a lost soul, wandering aimlessly across the world in search of new victims who fear sleep. I cannot cross to heaven or hell, for I am forever bound in this world, constantly chasing human life. If I don't feed, I too can perish, just like you. I have no discrimination, for I have taken thousands of souls of all ages, races, and sex in their sleep to leave their lifeless bodies where they lie in my wake. Tonight, your bed may be the bed I visit. Don't forget to wake up if you suddenly can't breathe in your sleep. And if you do wake and see a dark, cloaked figure hovering above you, don't mind me. I'm just feeding. Sleep well.